Man, oh man, there are a lot of big changes that have been announced recently and even a little bit in the past that I haven't addressed yet that I thought I would address in this video and just kind of lump it all together. But if you haven't seen or you haven't heard, there's this podcast called The Cod Pod and it's put on by Call of Duty. And they recently had some big announcements where they addressed some things from community feedback. One of those things being like Liberty Falls. Now, if you don't know, Liberty Falls is a zombies map for Black Ops we have Terminus and then we have Liberty Falls. Terminus looked phenomenal. It looked like a map that really brought that zombies feel, you know, where it's dark and it's kind of creepy and things like that. And then you had Liberty Falls and it looked like they just stole a multiplayer map and just made it a zombies map. It was like bright daytime, nothing like spooky or eerie about it or anything. And it just really looked like a multiplayer map. Well, they addressed this in the COD pod where they said that Liberty Falls will be launching with a whole new aura. They didn't really go into detail what that means or anything, but everyone can assume that that means that it's not going to feel like a bright daytime type map, that it's supposed to have an eerie type feel to it. So pretty exciting about that. I think the most exciting thing about that is it sounds like they're listening to the feedback from the community. Whether this was going to be addressed before people said anything or not, who knows? But we look at some of the changes that are coming to multiplayer and stuff like that as well. You can see the changes from weekend one to weekend two of the beta, and it seems like not only did they listen to community feedback, but they also really made it a point to make sure that Weekend 2 was a lot more smooth and balanced than Weekend 1. And to me, this just makes me very optimistic about the game because I think one of the big things is, of course, the community wants a voice in the game that they love, right? They want to see that Treyarch and Activision are going to listen to what they have to say and hopefully implement some of those changes to make the best game possible. However, we've seen in past where before the game was even launched where we played the beta in Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 where the community has voiced their feedback and those developers would come back and say well this is how we want the game to feel so we're not changing that whereas it sounds like Treyarch listened to the feedback from the community and was like hey you know what they're right let's make this change or you know what hey if that's what they want let's give them what they want I'm not necessarily saying that that's going to be the case or is the case but it has me optimistic this game should be built around the players for the players so so seeing a lot of these changes before launch has got me really, really, really excited. And I think one of the biggest things that really has me excited about all this is it's not just focused on Warzone. These are like huge updates for multiplayer and zombies. Like these aren't easy fixes, but we're talking about changing the entirety of a map for zombies. That's a big deal. And not only did they change the map, but they've talked about changing up the HUD entirely for zombies, which is interesting to say the least, because we all have all these HUD adjustments that we can make in the game as is to customize kind of how we want it to look and feel but they listened to the community and saying that they didn't like the way the hud was set up they didn't like the way that certain things were shown in zombies that it didn't feel like zombies so they came in and made a massive change now if you haven't heard some of the patch notes from a while ago like we're talking like a month ago could have been even longer of a ton of changes that are coming to multiplayer the fluidity of the omni movement they're talking about how the movement will look in third person weapon swapping movement ADS speed of the sniper rifle. All these things are being addressed before launch. And this is a huge deal because again, like I said, in the past, we've seen where developers have said, well, this is how we want the game to feel. So we're not changing it. Where a lot of people voice their concerns about the sniper rifle ADS, things like that. And here they are addressing the sniper rifle ADS or how people talked about how the third person look of the Omni movement was a little clunky and strange. They talked about addressing that. So it looked a little more fluid, a little more natural. And so there's a lot to really unpack and cover in this video and the, the biggest thing that I wanted to address wasn't necessarily every change down to a T it was more that Treyarch is listening and they're not creating this game around what they want it really seems like they're creating this game around what the players want which is massive now set aside skill-based matchmaking and all those things because we all know how I feel about that how you feel about that but one of the biggest things that people want is to be heard when we make these suggestions and things like that for multiplayer for zombies or whatever we don't want it to just slide by without being addressed when it's addressed great even if the changes that happen at least they address it but when they say hey you know what you're right and make that change that's a huge deal because ultimately it's not them that they're trying to appease it's us 
and this is such a big deal to me. So after talking about a few of the changes, here, here's a list of some of the things that have been mentioned so far. So we know that Nuketown is coming back on November 1st, so it won't be there at launch. It'll just come a couple weeks later, but still, we're getting this one version of Nuketown, which I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a destroyed version of Nuketown, which is really cool. But then they're bringing Nuketown back, and they address this in the COD pod where they said, you can't have a Black Ops game without Nuketown. So there you go. If you didn't know, Nuketown is back. I'm not really surprised there. Liberty Falls had the map change with the aura, which is a big deal. Multiplayer has addressed a lot of things that they saw from Weekend 1 and Weekend 2 of the beta going into launch to make it a better experience for us. We got to see the cinematic trailer from the campaign and oh my goodness, it looked phenomenal. And I'm not just saying, I'm not over here like trying to fanboy hardcore, but it looked very cinematic. It looked very good. And I think that I kind of take back what I said in a previous video where I mentioned the early access and not getting campaign early because I think what they have shown of the campaign looks so good that I think people are going to play it. But not only that, not only that, this was another announcement that came. If you complete the campaign, you're going to get five or six weapon blueprints. I don't even remember what it is. Some stickers, some weapon charms and other things. So they gave an incentive for the people who complete the campaign, which I think is great. They talked about how they brought a composer back to bring back some OG sounds into the zombies. But I mentioned all this because it just makes me very optimistic about the future of Black Ops 6. I don't know about Call of Duty in general because I think that yes, Activision obviously has a huge say in what these developers do, but from studio to studio, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, Raven Software, they all will have kind of their own direction that they get to go. And to see what Treyarch is doing is massive and it should have you excited too. But I think videos like this are important because though I'm a tiny channel and no one in Activision or Call of Duty will probably ever see this, I think it's the fact that we get to kind of see people coming together, voicing their opinions and seeing how these changes get made into the game that we love collectively. Because if you're someone like me, which I know a lot of you are, you loved the OG days of Call of Duty. Some of you didn't even start playing Call of Duty until Modern Warfare 2019 or later. And so there's an entirely different feel of the game. And it seems like they're really trying to bridge that gap, come together and make the best experience possible for all players. And on top of all that, it doesn't feel like we're centering a game around Warzone, which is huge. It's massive. It feels like the last few years that Call of Duty didn't really care about anything else. They just gave us multiplayer or zombies or whatever, just because they know like, hey, we have to do this, throw it in there. But we're going to focus more on Warzone because we know that is our fan base. This is the thing that draws people in, whatever. But with what we've seen from these changes from Treyarch, it seems like their focus isn't on just Warzone. They're really focused on creating the best possible zombie experience, multiplayer experience, Warzone experience, ranked play experience. And these are, this is a big deal. Now I know they've had like four years to develop a game. So everyone has really high hopes and expectations as we should, right? And hopefully Activision has their stuff together where we can see studios actually having the time that they need to develop a good game for people because we know that Modern Warfare 3 was thrown together. We know that Cold War was thrown together. So a lot of games that we've gotten in the past have just been things that were thrown together. We want a fully developed, fully ready game. All this to say that I'm just very optimistic about the direction that we're going with Black Ops 6. I would love to hear your all thoughts. Are you excited? Are there things that maybe I'm not seeing that I'm missing? Are they just trying to make us happy before launch and then all of a sudden pull the rug from under us? You know what I mean? What are your all thoughts? I would love to hear in the comments below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would love for you to be a part of the community. I would love to hear from you. One of the greatest joys that I get in creating this video is hearing your opinions, your feedback, your comments, and chatting with you. So please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. Hit that notification button so you know when I drop a new video. And again, like the video if you enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Hope y'all have an amazing day or night, whatever it may be for you. And God bless.